What's up, guys? Welcome to another Talking Bull podcast. I'm Anthony. This is the Clapper. <laughs> Welcome to another Talking Bull podcast. We're here to bring you your weekly nerd news rundown, as well as our main topic for this week, as well as we diagnose this week's Flash and Arrow. And they suck, as per usual. But they're great shows. Watch them. And uh, so we're just going to jump right into the news. So earlier in the week, they announced which... Kind of like, did you see anywhere other than like IGN about I didn't see this? It at all. I like never this, yeah, at this was really weird. I only it, saw I that no they so they revealed the companions for the next Doctor Who, uh, and for the five fans that are left, because you know they cast a woman and everyone was up in arms about it. Uh, this is going her companions. So uh, a bunch Just of British people, yeah, a bunch of British people you've never heard of. Well, you might have, but I didn't know any of them. Um, so basically what's going to happen is I guess she's going to have two full-time ones and then a, um, kind of like a part-time one. Bradley Walsh ba- from Law and Order UK will play Tolson Cole from Star Wars The Force Awakens and Mandip Man- Gill. Mandip Gill. And I'm not shitting you. That's how that's you pronounce what, uh, his Mandip. name. Yeah. Yeah. Mandip Gill. Right. Yeah. So does it say which two are the regulars and which one's the sol- like part-timer? Um... Oh, oh, it says Mandip uh, yeah, has yeah. been cast as a uh, in a recurring role. So the two regulars will be Bradley and yeah. Tolson. And then uh, Sharon Clark will also have some kind of recurring role. Yeah. And then they put a picture up of the uh, characters. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, that's the doctor right there. <laughs> oh, right there. Yeah, right blonde there. Hair. Yeah, right there with the blonde <laughs> hair. <laughs> but um, so... They're going to be longer. Fall, fuck. Yeah. Season 11 doesn't start until fall, fall. 2018. Yep. Like that's, this is what hurts the fucking show. A man. lot. I'm telling you. Yeah. So they'll like, have the Christmas There's special. a good chance I won't watch this. Like, it's they're so, so far away. It's so fucking yeah. long. Away. All like, 10 when ep- did, Yeah. When did 10 finish? 10 finished in the summer sometime. Yeah. So they'll have the Christmas special and then they won't come back till the fall. Which is like. Oh, f- almost a year. Yeah, it's too far. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. I bet you they come back September. Yeah, twenty eighteen. They like, they they're too far. So like, yeah, that's holy. They'll fuck. all be fifteen. Like nine of the episodes out of the ten will be fifty minutes, except the hour long season premiere, which is like oh, so gonna be a little longer. Yeah, they're they're. It's a shorter season with ten, but they'll be longer. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, fine, that's cool. Is that is that like fifty minutes plus commercials or fifty? I'm gonna say they're gonna hit fifty minutes with com- like. So it'll so be like, like you're it, only gonna get be, eight, ten minutes of commercials. Yeah, in an hour show. Yeah, you know instead of the forty two minutes. Yeah. like you. Yeah, and the like it's the BBC, so they have weird show airings and start times. Yeah. anyways. So yeah, but yeah, so there would be fifty minutes like of solid content. Yeah, yeah. I will watch this. I'm intrigued to see what they do. It's I mean, I, I will watch it's it, but so like, different. fuck. It's like, going to be so different. I have to different. wait until next, next year. Or yeah. Next, like a year from now, essentially. I'm like, I don't even know if I'll be watching it. Also, new TARDIS. Yeah, she'll get her own. She'll get her yeah, own get her TARDIS. Own, yeah. So yeah. I'm intrigued to see how they handle it. Yeah. Because this Christmas special is one. like first doctor, last doctor, woman at the end kind of thing yeah so she'll be at the end I just, it's going to be very i'm very intrigued to say the least in this and then news that i missed last week i just forgot to add it was um ea closing visceral uh they just closed another one of their studios who was in the middle of uh doing like a pretty big game they were doing a star wars game um you think an ea won't finish it or move it somewhere else they they're, just they're like, refocusing the done? project to something else and a lot of people last week and up until this point this week were saying that it's because of um, the death of single player games. Like they wanted multiplayer, like oh. microtransactions, loot crate. So they yeah. wanted all the things that we said we don't want in a game. Basically, well, our topic last week was pretty much this. Yeah, yeah. We wanted this game. Yeah, this we is, want a single yeah. player game without loot crates and all this stuff. Exactly, but, but like it's not the death of a single player. Like this is just them canceling a game they didn't like. Basically, because whatever. Star Wars is gonna make bank. A- exactly. Like, I don't know why. I would. I understand. Out, I would put out the shittiest Star Wars game and still make millions of dollars. I understand business wise why they did it. Yeah, maybe but, Visceral as itself wasn't doing good. Yeah, but like I said, that game I would one hundred percent move it somewhere else and finish the project. Yeah. Say. 
but Hands like down, you're making the money. death of single player games. I don't believe it's not there. happening. Like not happening. I'm playing South Park right now. Yeah, Wolf I don't believe it's came there, out but this saying, week. Yeah, but we're not. We're never in the majority of things. No, but even the majority of people, like after the they're in it, like again, a lot of people say it's always the vocal minority, right? It's yeah. the silent majority that never say anything. Mm-hmm. Like us, basically. Yeah. Like it, regardless of our podcast, we say what we say. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't think it's going anywhere. Three, of, four of the biggest games that have come out to this week and last week with South Park are all single player games. Yeah, it's not going. Four, anywhere. if you count, or yeah, so you've got Assassin's, Assassin's Creed Origins coming out or came out. You got Mario. Mm-hmm. You got um, Wolfenstein, which mm-hmm. is completely single player. I you know. got South, South Park, Park, and then you had uh, Shadow of War, mm-hmm. which, for all intensive purposes, is a single player game mm-hmm. with kind of a tacked on multiplayer, basically, mm-hmm. and. Um, they had put out a statement earlier this week, Machine Games. They were like, single player is not going anywhere. We are a single player game studio. Our drive was to make a single player game. Complete focus. And what games do they make? The Machine Game. That's who made Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. So they yeah. make Wolfenstein and Bethesda pushed it out. Push mm-hmm. it out. Yeah. Which is like, Bethesda is a fucking single player studio. Yeah, like Fallout. Fallout. Elder Scrolls, mm-hmm. Wolfenstein, The Evil Within. Mm-hmm. All single player games. Yeah. They're not going anywhere. It's just the fact that these multi-pack um, games make money. A shit ton of money. Last year, EA went from the year before making $1 billion to like $3 billion in microtransaction sales. We have a story about... That's almost like stealing. Basically, yeah. We have like <laughs> right, yeah. Like for lack of a better word, but call you, it what you want. But you don't have here's you don't have to buy that stuff if you don't no, want to. You don't have. You can to. play Grand it's Theft like, Auto. I can mug you. Yeah, and you don't have to give me the money. You're I, right. You I, don't. You're right. I can say give me all your money. You don't have to do it. It's not the same nickel and diming willing. as it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have to do there's it. There's a story. There's a story about GTA uh, coming up after this, and basically, like, there's a whole bunch. You can see like there's a whole bunch of plot details. So what happened was Amy Hemming. Or, yeah, Hemming, she left Uncharted to come over here to make this game. And now, like, that was her main goal, was to come over here and make a brand new game. And they were going for, like, a uh, Ocean's Eleven vibe, they were saying, with, like, an uh, Uncharted type of feel to it. Mm -hmm. And it would have focused on, like, the... um, Star Wars meets Ocean Eleven. Yeah, he was... never think you'd read that sentence. No. (laughs) And it was, like, he he was basically Han Solo, and it took place all within the underworld of Star Wars. Kind of like that Star Wars 13, 13 game mm-hmm. we were supposed to get with Boba Fett. Stop canceling good Star Wars games. Yeah. Like, but we there still is another single-player Star Wars game in development right now. Besides uh, be, Yeah, besides Battlefront. So, whatever. As long as they don't cancel that, I'm okay. We haven't seen anything from that game yet. Mm-hmm. We hadn't heard about this game in a while, which like a lot of people were like, kind of thing so it, fe- it seems like it was kind of like a star wars rebels type of deal mm-hmm. but it took place in between the um first and second movie of the original trilogy is where they were aiming it for and then there's a picture of what they had oh, so okay so yeah you can see it and I'm, i was i was i was intrigued for this game but whatever like ea demanded a multiplayer function in the game so you can say what you want you can say they didn't say they said they wanted it but Again, it's all conjecture because, right, it's from ex-employees and whatnot. Mm-hmm. They they had said that they tried to move as many people as possible to different studios within EA. So not everyone was losing their job, which is good because that's what happens when, like, they close a the studio. Yeah. But, so that sucks. I really wanted to play that game. Um, so staying with that trend, uh, GTA uh, Rockstar put out, a, like, a statement this week of why there wasn't any... Uh, single player DLC after the Ballad of Gay Tony because that was fucking amazing. Yeah, that's one of the best. Yeah, it's one of the best single player expansions ever. Mm -hmm. And basically they said because of the sheer size and scope of the game and the story of five and the multiplayer aspect of having this continual world, there was no way in hell they could have focused on making that at the same time as they made the other two games. And then to make it all afterwards, it would have come out like a shit ton of time later Mm -hmm. and it would have been like irrelevant and the fact that online has made so much money and is still so popular for people they were like whatever Mm -hmm. but like they're not they're yeah (laughs) when it's six yeah because us we want to play the single player Mm -hmm. stuff like 
and this isn't also <coughs> at the same time they were starting on Red Dead 2. So all those factors are reasons why we didn't get single player DLC, mm -hmm. which sucked, but, but it I was huge. It would make sense. There was so Unless much it was with a whole different character because depending on how you ended the game, you had could have functioned if you didn't get the DLC. Yeah. Let's just say, like, I played my game differently, so I killed Michael. I yeah. Believe. But let's say the DLC dealt with Michael. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to got it. Exactly. There wouldn't, like, <clears throat> yeah. The, or something like that. And the Unless game, it was a whole new character. Yeah. And the game was so big. Yeah. It was like, I'm, it sucked, but at the same time, I understand why. And now mm -hmm. we finally got a statement as to why. So that's why there was none. Um, I'll stick with games because. As we kind of rumored last week, uh, the Lego Dimensions thing, Warner Brothers came out with an official statement. They're like, no, we're not making any more of these games. We thank blah, 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 and everyone for their continued support of it and buying it. And it was a great run so while we had it. So once out, is out, nothing new is coming. Exactly. While, is there and, anything in the pipeline-ish? No. They're, nothing. They're Everything done. has been yeah, released. Everything's done. There's no more. They will continue so, to support the game if it needs supporting. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like we said last week, they had a good run. Mm -hmm. It sucks that they won't put any more content pack was because rumor has it one was going to be the Flash and one was going to be Missy from Doctor Who. Mm. And those are two packs I would have really loved. Yeah. Because <laughs> running around as the Flash would have been cool. Mm -hmm. And then another Doctor Who expansion would have been awesome. But the game itself is amazing. And running around in the Doctor Who level that I have playing Mission Impossible mm -hmm. was fun. Yeah, no, you had Mission Impossible. Yeah, too, like, right? and so. they had they had a good run. So for a Lego game that you have to buy packs for and put into a portal, it was mm -hmm. it was solid. Uh, that's, I that's all oh no, game. I got one more for oh. game. Uh, Insomniac uh, said that they can do Sunset Overdrive two. Uh, they just need a publisher to put it out. Um, the first game did all rightish. It, it was locked to the Xbox, mm -hmm. so it didn't get Sony on Sony. Insomniac makes great games. Sunset Overdrive was fun. I did play it on the Xbox. Um, it was that game about the... Uh, remember I was playing it? It was the uh, energy drinks. Turn people into monsters. Okay. Yeah, and there was like grinding on rails and shit. Mm -hmm. It's basically... It was like they make Ratchet and Clank. Mm -hmm. So like that type of game. So they said it, they could basically do it. They just need a publisher to put it out. I'm like, all right. Pub, where are you? Pub, mm -hmm. Put it out. Like, they... They need something to do other than Ratchet. Yeah. So, good on them. Uh, I wonder how much of the game they actually have done mm -hmm. to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just to finish it off or whatever, but I'm okay with that. I'd like them to put out a sequel to that game. I enjoyed it, and anything from them was pretty good. So, that is it for games. Uh, and then I have this story about how much money Geostorm is actually going to lose because of, like, a it lot. flopped over here and did okay overseas. Yeah. Um. It could lose like a hundred million dollars. And I'm just like, no shit. You made a movie about a storm that they do okay-ish mm -hmm. starring Gerard Butler. The man can't sell movies. Not anymore. Like, what are you thinking? Yeah. Idiots. Uh, that was just a funny story about how much money they're going to lose on a movie that should have never been greenlit. No, like that's where I'm like, you waste like things like that. It's like, why are you doing this? Why piss away who, that who's money? Who's in the room that says, yeah, we're going to make this one. Yeah. Like there's like, yeah. Yeah just stop greenlighting stupid shit and everyone's like oh why well, you want original stuff well no a movie about a superstorm on it's a laptop original. isn't original yeah i can name six off the top of my mm -hmm. head if i wanted to uh and then it's not really a story but i just wanted to talk to you about it because i hadn't yet was um the tracking numbers for uh justice league uh opening weekend and they're saying it won't do as well as uh suicide squad did yeah. And I think that more has to do with, I think Justice League, as much as we're going to go see it, and all the people who are obviously going to go see it, I think this one falls under word of mouth. It's going to. Because of Batman v Superman and Suicide Horrible Squad taste. and like doing badly, while Wonder Woman did well, mm -hmm. I think this movie is going to be a word of mouth movie. So that yeah. opening weekend where the we the, all go the, the the couple days leading up to it when the reviews start coming out and you see that'll like, be those, a bing indicator essentially of how that it's fucking going to tomato do. score yeah. is where that movie is going to spike that or not it's having to fall that way but dc basically did it to themselves and yeah. shot themselves in the foot yeah. starting this off so that's why i think those numbers are estimated <clears throat> so low mm -hmm. and for the most part those numbers are pretty accurate yeah. it's amazing how well they can track that shit mm -hmm. But I understand where their numbers come from, but I just think, yeah, it's going to come down to word of mouth. 
I didn't add that. I just remembered mm-hmm. it off the top of my head to our list here. Uh, we'll stay with movies. Uh, X-23 creator um, Craig Kyle is working with um, James Marigold on a script for the Logan spinoff for X-23. You interested in that? Mm, fuck no. I yeah. do not give a shit. Not at all. Like, yeah, Logan was great with her. She and there was, was that awesome emotional impact. The emotional father-daughter I'm done. Spoilers. That's it. I yeah. don't care. Do to not see her running no. up in Canada with all those other kids. I couldn't give a fuck. I do not give a shit. Also, there was apparently there was a New Mutants trailer this week. Another one. Another one? Yeah. I didn't watch it because I didn't care. That first, like, spoiler trailer, teaser one, there was another full one, apparently. Yeah. I, I haven't I, even seen it yeah, listed anywhere. I saw it listed a bunch of times. I just didn't care because that first, like, teaser was shit. Yeah. I've never and, even seen it listed. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, X-23 couldn't give a shit. No, I have. Now, I don't yeah. care. Again, we're going to get we're gonna get into the X-23 because, again, I was just going to say, now, if they made a movie... Where she is in an ensemble movie. Yeah. Where does that go, fall? Go ahead. Make yeah. the movie put her in there. Yeah. But where the fuck that happens in 2045 with a cast we don't know who exists anymore. Because Xavier went crazy and killed them all. <laughs> who <Spoilers>. fucking knows? <laughs> no idea. But we shall see. And then... um, <laughs> Yeah, I just don't care about that movie. And then a movie I do care about is um deathstroke movie being announced with um gareth evans yeah of uh you ever see the raid no I i've watched though. both of them i want to see it It looks so really good. good i've actually watched the first one a couple times yeah i've seen, I've seen stuff once. of it i just never it's hard to find it because i had to get a had to find a uh We totally just like danced around the fact that we know what we're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the raid. <laughs> How to find where to rent it? <laughs> and uh, we have one movie store that never have any copies. And uh, but very good, very yeah. fucking good. <laughs> like totally the right director for the right character. Yeah, because it's not really about superpowers; it's more about the the, the fighting aspect. Fight, so like, yeah, it was so fucking good. Um, Apparently, he it said like. He took. He went in to meet for Squad, or and they some, or and no, they told him Dark. Dark. He went in to meet yeah. for Justice League, and Dark. they told him no, and, and then he and did he this. He didn't script. want it, but he gave them this pitch instead, and they were like, "Yeah, that's with uh, cool. Joe Ma- Ma- Maganello. Ma- Maganello as Deathstroke." So. Yeah, we're still continuing. Cool. His, he still gets to keep his role that oh. they gave him, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, and then we have. Is that it for news on the movies? I just want to before we jump. I think so. Yeah, that's that's it for. Okay, so oh, I I lied. One more game story. Uh, di- the Connect is dead. After the after whatever sells out of the Connect now, they're done. Um, good. That thing is literally useless. Like we had that oh, one. Oh, we have another one. Another movies. Okay, we uh, we're very organized over here. So we remember we had the Connect for a while, right? And you could just yell at it, and but it was the most useless thing possible. Like, it serves no purpose, at least now. And the Kinect's games were garbage anyways. It was like the early um, PlayStation Move stuff. I think we had another game one, so are we done with Are you done with? Yeah, I just wanted okay. to... The other game, game one was uh, Injustice 2, the Hellboy thing. Oh, yeah, we just watched that trailer. Yeah, they added Hellboy, Hellboy saw a new trailer, too. comes out soon. His gameplay trailer. His finisher looked pretty cool. Yeah, it did. It like actually looked really good, yeah. Uh, he looks awesome. He looks like a mix between um, the movie iterations and... Mm-hmm. And um, his comic book look. Yeah. So, really cool. He fights um, the red dude whose name I'm... Atrocicus? Atrocicus. 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 Yeah. Atrocicus. Is that how you pronounce that? I think so. I thought it was Atrocicus. I don't know. You fucked up a word earlier that I don't trust your pronouncing of words anymore. (laughs) But yeah, he fights him in that and they have some good banter. So... (laughs) That's another like solid deal. Cyborg in it too. Yeah. <laughs> cyborg? Z- cyborg. 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 He fights Cyborg. He fights cyborg. <laughs> cyborg. 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 Sublime. Sublime. He fights Sublime. <laughs> They're trying to get their career back. Hellboy said no. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that looked really good. That's another like solid DLC character. Mm-hmm. I want. I, I got to pick up that pack. I wanna. I wanna play them now. So Even- the other movie news was uh, to 
as much as you said this movie was never going to get made, <laughs> then I started production, like actual filming. Cam- I was t- I was wrong. Roll- <laughs> Cameras are rolling on Venom. And did you see the thing with Andy? Uh, uh, what's his name? Circus. Circus. And he, someone was asking him about motion capture and all this stuff like that. And in it, he mentioned that Tom Hardy is currently doing a movie requiring motion capture. Blah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So everyone was like assuming that it's this. Like yeah. he's going to motion cap Venom for the movie. It's not going to be like a full. It, you know what I mean? Like it's CG, but it's not 100% CG. Why, There's why a do you need Andy Circus to like play Venom? No, he's not. He mentions Tom is using oh, okay. motion capture to play Venom. Because uh, someone well, asked him I get about that. like. Uh, yeah. Someone asked him about something about like how other actors are using it and all this stuff like that and how it's becoming not so like um, it's not uh, regulated just to him. Yeah, or not like looked down apart like real actors are using it. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> Tom Hardy's a real actor. And then um, <laughs> I just thought that was funny. He's an amazing actor, but uh, is he though? Yeah, he is. Okay, I would say he is. Okay, um, but yeah, so he's using it, and it's not just gonna be like a CG. Yeah. Blob, like where they used to use like the old Hulk movies. So can we just like tell studios, not studios, like news outlets and like YouTubers and like everyone to stop using fucking Topher Grace's Venom as a shot for movie news for this. Anytime I see news for Venom, it's that fucking shot of... um. I've seen these two. Like for this one, it's... it's these yeah, ones. they started using it like it's some... Comic related. Comic book websites used to comic stuff. Yeah. Everywhere else uses the clips of Venom Topher. Topher. And it's that stupid one where he first gets at the has, mask. Like, the, 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 yeah. Where he has like the black slits on his face. Like, yeah. Him, and yeah. it just looks really bad because one Topher Grace is smaller than Tobey Maguire and should have never played Venom. Mm-hmm. And they... That's... that's Whatever. Yeah. It's his own movie. Yeah. But um, Venom is rolling, so the movie is happening. Yeah. At this point, once cameras start rolling, they release the movie. There's no way they're going <laughs> to... That's not true, though. In this day and age, yeah, yeah, okay, is. yeah. Well, yeah. when you spend a bajillion dollars <laughs> yeah, on this movie, in this movie. day and age, you're like, we gotta release something. Okay, so that started. I, w- I was wrong on that. We will see when Shazam goes, because right now he's filming pop cans. <laughs> 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 also, we lied some more because I scrolled down farther. We also have some Fast and the Furious news for a movie that's not coming out for another four years. Well, we're still on movie news. Oh yeah, you're right. Um. Vin Diesel revealed that Justin Lin will direct 9 and 10, and Jordana Brewster is going to come back into the movies, which I'm not sure why, because literally she does nothing in any of the franchises. No, she hasn't done anything. Like, she's not a. Uh, she uh, did stuff in the first one. She drove and shit. I don't even think she at, drove at in the, the end, first one. At the end. But, like, at least she was driving. Yeah. But, like. Yeah, at the very end. Not a. Like. And again, this is a symptom of what um, um, Michelle Rodriguez said that like women in these movies do nothing, and for the most part, she's, like it, she's in the movies more than uh, Jordana. Yeah, but, but yeah. like that's kind of it. And then they killed the last one, uh, Gadette, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman. Dot, whatever you want to call her. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, and then like these movies are starting to slow everyone out of cast because they killed them. And like, they killed the characters I keep wanting to see. And like, mm. I just, I don't know. And now like there's that spinoff where like he's friends with the guy who killed his other friend. Um, Hobbs is friends with, um, Oh, Jason Statham. Yeah. Possibly. Like and it's like, yeah. what the hell you let him to the punk dinner, man. You don't like he killed dude. Yeah. Whose name I'm blanking on? Han. You killed Han. <laughs> who was awesome. <laughs> Can they just like retcon that? Probably not. Why not? Just say he didn't actually die. He's been in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see... Uh... They, they retcon Paul Walker out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just pissed off six people. <laughs> Did you see... Um... <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger was talking about Terminator. Uh, streamlining it and stuff. Yeah, yeah he I said... Did, I didn't, he, he said... Uh, I emailed him my script. Yeah, <laughs> good, you should. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he said, what Tim and James want to do is basically focus 
on a few characters like Linda's and myself and dismiss everything else. Just move away from all the rules of timeline and other characters. That's what I did. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. It, it, we're going to see how well this movie... I don't think it... I just... I I'm telling you, my movie is good. I still don't think the movie... Like, Geostorm, I'm telling you. Like, don't don't put the no, money there. No. Like, don't... It's not going Maybe to... Maybe a well. smaller budget might help it. Maybe. Because they if won't... do it super cheap. Yeah, you... you but like, I don't think they're... There's, a, there's many interests cheap. like... Where, look, uh, I guess we'll go with Deadpool as a prime example. Yeah. Deadpool accomplished a lot with, like, $5. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> we'll see i'm it's one of those things where at this point i'm just i stopped reading stuff like that because yeah, it it's just like up and I was it's like, just it's random just... nonsense mm -hmm. from like the the actor who's going to say four words in the entire movie yeah. i think he says 15 and all of the entire franchise mm -hmm. like i don't know oh I'll... <laughs> well let's we'll move into some tv news uh because we have several little bits here uh, so the Dark Tower uh, series reboot or might connect to the movie, but might not now because the movie flopped. I heard the movie though, like it didn't do well. But oh, it did. It, what did it? It can, It kind. It changed a lot. Like yeah. the book is so massive that like the movie almost is like the big. Is almost like the middle and end of the book. Like, yeah, they, they kind of gloss over the first part of it. This is one stuff. of those things that. I think it been, would be better as a TV show because yeah. you could tell it for fucking years and you could tell the whole yeah. fucking book, right? This is one of those like Netflix, HBO star yeah. series. And there's like, another on one. Cable. Yeah, yeah, there's another one we have. We'll talk about it in a second. But like, do you care about this at all? Like, I didn't care about the movie. It, the movie looked interesting. But like, once when I the found, movie's on Netflix, I'll watch, I'll watch it. it. Yeah. That was, a, that was the extent of me caring. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'll watch it on Netflix. Yeah. Um, well, I watched this TV show. If it was on Netflix or something, possibly I check I'll, it out. I'll give it my rule. Yeah, like my I show rules, out, and then I'll watch. If I wasn't it doesn't, like, I, won't. Like, yeah. I wasn't like, oh, the dark. Like, I, I have no idea what the fucking Dark Tower is. I, have. I guess it's a really good book. I've never yeah. read it, but that would imply I read a book. Yeah, I don't but, know how to do that. I, but as we know, I've read books this year, so I'm I'm an accomplished reader. <laughs> hmm. And then we have um. I will talk about this. Uh, they're reportedly uh, working on a Bad Boys spinoff starring Gabriel. TV series. TV series, sorry. TV series starring Gabriel Union, her character from the movie. Because if there's anything that'll sell that, it's her boring ass character from Bad, Bad Boys, Boys 2. 2. Like, she was in there for plot Was she DEA or something like that? Yeah. She was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was DEA working on their cover and. They already knew her cover was broken, and now her cover is broken, so I'm not sure what they're going to do, and like, I just don't care. Yeah. The, I don't see this getting off the ground. No, this isn't going anywhere. This is Bad right. Boys 3 level of, like, we're going to get a movie at yeah, some point. Yeah, same with Bad Boys 3 and 4. Like, as much as they want to do them, and, like, they say they're doing them, they're not happening. No, they, they won't. And then, in kind of news that we don't really cover, but I thought it'd be interesting to talk about, because it is, like, nerdish. Um, character from the show Andy Mack... I guess it's a Disney Channel show that I do not watch. Uh, is going to come out as gay. At first on Disney Channel, which is like amazing for Disney. Mm -hmm. Like, because they, they're so clean, cookie cutter. Yeah. Like, it's starting to spread into ESPN, <laughs> as we've seen in recent weeks. But um, good for them. Um, it's not one of those things where, like, you know, uh, there's a gay character in a show. So they're like, look at us. We have a gay character in a show mm -hmm. type of deal from what I've read. But just props to them for actually moving forward because you can't have, I think, shows, even Disney, like Nickelodeon, any type of shows like that now where it is like just pure base of like, this is what we think kids act like. Yeah. There's not going to not be a gay character. There mm -hmm. are gay people in the world and have all what it, creeds and colors and then, you know, the other 85 fucking names there we have now. Mm-hmm. Not a shot against them. I just don't understand why everything has a different name. It's confusing. It's getting a bit ridiculous <laughs> at this point. I understand everyone identifies differently, but like, slow the fuck down. That's all I'm saying. But good for them. So, and like, I'm 
that's all I'm dissecting of that because that is not our. Way I don't watch us. the show. I have no like whatever. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> good for them. I have no idea what it is. Never even fucking heard of it until I came across the story on Deadline. They are really good with stories about everything. They're like about every show in the works mm-hmm. and like might be a show. This show got picked up. This script script got picked up, mm-hmm. and like I don't even cover it all just because there's so much. Yeah, but it's just it's cool to read it all. So down one. Uh, no we covered that last week i'm moving okay. up to this one. Oh, okay um kingpin uh is now back for season three of daredevil which is cool um, did they name the new guy the showrunner yeah, yeah they named new showrunner i will open it up and it's ign so we'll see if it loads properly probably won't oh it did. oh it did uh he's going to be heavily involved in the season but they don't say why um, oh, Eric, Eric Olson. Olson. Who served? It? He served as an executive producer for Man in the High Castle. He's taken Didn't over. Did you watch that? I did. I have to finish it. That show is amazing. If you have not watched it, it's so good. It's set in an alternate history uh, where the Nazis and the um, Japan mm-hmm. win. Uh, win World War Two. And I won't spoil anything else. Some other shit happens. It's it's a really good show. I hear it's really good. It's yeah. so good. I highly recommend anyone watch it. If you watch it, you will want to keep watching mm-hmm. it. Um, mm-hmm. I just went back to playing games, so I have to split my time between watching all the crap I watch mm-hmm. and then playing all the games I want to play. And this week, I've just been enamored with South Park because it's a fucking awesome game. Uh, you can go to our channel and watch a Let's Play. 40 minutes of it. I split it in two parts. That way you won't get bored. <laughs> and they make way better jokes than I do, so you'll actually laugh. <laughs> and then I, we have the... Um, Dan Aykroyd said that he would be interested in making a live-action uh, Ghostbusters net- Netflix series. And to me, that sounds fucking awesome. I think it would do well. I think it yeah. would too, because one, like Stranger Things works and it's a weird type of show like that. I and mean, you've put the Ghostbusters on a like 12 episode run. Where, I wouldn't like, go that far. I'd go six. Eight to, I'd go six, eight to ten. Six to eight. Maybe yeah. six to eight. Yeah. Either way, anywhere between that, I would say like, yeah. I think it'd be a great show. You could have like a Ghost of the Week. You could have a higher archy of whatever. Yeah, and you can do like horror yeah you can things. and it like be, yeah yeah it would do i think it would do very well and netflix is like green lighting everything uh, yeah, i just, just read an article about like out. they were gonna in the next little bit they're gonna spend like eight billion dollars on we stuff should just write a pilot yeah we should to give us and money. like <laughs> it, it was an article about um they were it was mostly dealing with anime mm-hmm. because netflix is huge on anime right now because it's their numbers are massive for it and it was one of the studio guys talking about how like they're getting a better cut from Netflix as opposed to wherever else they put it. Mm -hmm. So they don't like, and every studio is booked until like 2020. So like they're getting better jobs. They're getting better work. They're not working as hard because they don't have to work for these smaller studios. Mm -hmm. And Netflix is giving them a better uh, piece of the pie. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, you see it on Netflix. There's a shit ton of anime on there there constantly and like good for them. Uh, But like, yeah, this, this could work. And, if they're going to spend $8 billion, give that money to Dan Aykroyd. Mm-hmm. Cause like he writes Ghostbusters scripts every three days. Yeah. <laughs> like there's like 18 different Ghostbusters three mm-hmm. uh, scripts. And then you can ignore the crap that was that last movie. Still have not seen it. Is that on Netflix yet? I don't think it is. No, that movie's so bad. It's not on Netflix. Yeah, it's not. And it how bad be. do you have to be on? 16. Yeah. How bad do you have to be to not be on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it's a, it's a shitty movie. That's a topic for another day. But uh, yeah, I, th- I think it could work. And like, you don't have to live within the Ghostbusters like two movies. Mm-hmm. This could be its own thing. And I think it'd be good. And then yeah, if you just have, like Star Fresh. Yeah. yeah. And if you I have the people like if you have Ackroyd there as like maybe not writing the scripts, but like show running, show running yeah. it or even just executive producing yeah. it, I think it'd be great. And I, I would love to see it. But who knows if we will. <laughs> And then we have uh, this really funny story. It's not really our kind of thing, but it just deals with everything that we get from stuff. Uh, Amazon Key. Um, You get the door pad and then a camera. And then when your Amazon package arrives, the guy punches it in and walks in your house and leaves your package for you. (laughs) Because that seems like a really stupid idea. (laughs) You can watch on your phone. Yeah. You get the notification that he's there first. Yeah. But again, like, like, it's it's not that 
time that I'm worried about. It's like when he tells his buddy, hey, go rob these people. Yeah, but I'm just like, but then I'm also like, what's to stop FedEx from the guy from FedEx doing the same thing? He knows we have a TV in this house, regardless of yeah. if he looks inside. Who doesn't have a TV in the house? Who doesn't have a, a but this is like some sort? This is instant access to the house. It's a one-time code. He could have come back and used the same code. Is it a one-time code? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it change, you, you change it all the time. It's not a... It's no, not see, a, you change it. Yeah. If you're not smart enough to change it, then that's... People weird. aren't. People still use password as a password. Then people are stupid. That's what I'm saying. This is what I'm on, saying. That's not on Amazon or... But I didn't or say it was Amazon. I just said this was a stupid idea. Yeah, that's, that's on the homeowner. You, yeah. If you don't change see, the yeah. code. Yeah. You, it's a one-time yeah. code. But yeah, it's supposed to be a one-time code. That's what I'm saying is people will keep the same goddamn code because people are stupid. Yeah. Then that's yeah, that's just on society. Yeah. yeah. We, well, we've yeah, bred people, morons. society is idiots. Yeah, we yeah. bred morons. That's, well, yeah. Yeah. If the world uh, news we don't cover is any indication, <laughs> people are fucking stupid. <laughs> Between all the crap going on and all mm. the people getting harassed, there's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, people are dumb. That's why this is a stupid idea. Like, if you know people won't change their password, and people are going to get robbed, and, like, I mean, Amazon people are going to get mauled by animals. <laughs> I heard that, too, yeah. Like, Fido is just going to eat these people alive. <laughs> like, and I understand, like, the purpose of it, because, like, mm -hmm. people steal packages yeah, people because they're assholes. Yeah, people are stealing packages off the porch. Yeah. But, like, we don't get Amazon deliveries. We get... Amazon deliveries from Canada Post. Yeah, they don't. Like, they no, don't. We don't have it here. But you and know, those like, guys are douchebags. Yeah, they they just wait three days and deliver it later, or they leave it in a puddle. Yeah. So um, but they're supposed to be building something over in the Detroit. Did you hear that? Yeah. The, uh, there's a joint bid between us between and us Detroit to build, a, to build a, this a second um Amazon location uh, headquarters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess eighteen. Canadian cities have all made bids for this thing. I think this would be the best place for it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Border oh, city? Yeah, perfect spot. And then um, I actually read yesterday because I thought that Calgary had won, mm -hmm. but they put a um, just a dis uh, distribution center in Calgary, um, and it's going to create like 750 jobs mm -hmm. um, for people there. And I guess like it's really good for them because of the wildfires cool. and shit. But I thought they had one. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. But yeah, like this bid is massive. Yeah. And yeah, it'd be cool if we got it. And then like they wanted to put like fucking gondolas over the river and shit. Yeah. Did you yeah see the, this? The move packages yeah. Across. And I was like, this sounds fucking great. <laughs> and like good for Amazon. Because while, yeah, they're putting most people out of jobs, they're also giving people jobs. Yeah, like but... it's, it's massive if it, if it comes here. Yeah. I think this would be the best place for it. Oh, yeah. And I'm just saying that because of living here. It's the for Detroit. It'll Detroit help and a Windsor lot. is the busiest border in the world. Yeah, and, like and right now you can't get over it because the tunnel's closed. Yeah, right now. So it's like the bridge is backed up yeah. way the fuck <laughs> yeah, down the road. So if you want to go anywhere, yeah, you're fucked. Good luck. <laughs> Wait until next month when the when the tunnel opens again. But um, have you have you looked at the pictures of them like taking down the slabs and shit? Yeah, I've seen some. Of them, yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Uh, but I digress. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. I hope we get that. No, it would be nice. Cool and I think it would just make the, and... the most sense. Yeah. Because so many times do I order something, and we've talked about this, I think. So many times I order something, I see it, I can watch it on my phone. I see yeah. Detroit, Michigan. And then I fucking see Toronto. Yeah. Or Ottawa. Nine hours away. Yeah. You were you were 35 minutes from my fucking house. Yeah. But you had to go nine hours away and then travel back. And it's weird because like, most, <laughs> but like, and then it gets shipped to like Mississauga first, and then goes over there, and then comes back. Yeah, it's like you guys have but a if weird distribution. Here from yeah, Amazon, it's going. It, you know, like it's going all the way up. Yeah, yeah. And then like, my dad has found a way around this, and he just has a uh, box. box, and it's, mm -hmm. it's not always it's not a PO box because a lot of things won't deliver to PO boxes. Oh, yeah. It's like a company that it's an actual mailing address, mm. and you can send shit there. And I'm just like, I. I order a lot more shit than I used to, mm -hmm. but like just to send shit there and then have to go pick it up yeah, just seemed like a like fucking a hassle. hassle. Uh, but yeah. like, I guess it's just right off the bridge though. Mm -hmm. When you just, instead of going left, you go right. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, that's convenient. But still, I'm like, fuck it. And then like shipping here is just a pain in the ass because it's expensive as fuck. So I got the um, Justice League tickets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, and yeah. with it came a free poster from Fandango. It's that one you've seen it online. The it has new the IMAX one? Um, no, not that one. Oh, okay. It's like the five of them. Yeah. 
or the six of the six of them. Yeah. But their their positions make Superman in the light. Oh, cool. Oh, I, I heard about that and I didn't bother to look. Light, yeah. Right? Anyway, so it was that one, and but they don't ship here, so I can't collect the free poster. <laughs> Just ship it to fucking the theater and we'll pick it up. There. <laughs> yeah, they don't. It doesn't ship. To the Canada, so I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, so we have two like just short comic book stories. Uh, Marvel showed off the new Thor, um, which this may or may not be Thor because it was like a future like maybe thing. Mm -hmm. But we know it's Thor because they're killing uh, Chick Thor. Um, looks like uh, Hemsworth. Hemsworth. And then he's got like a golden arm and he's got his helmet, but he looks redesigned. He actually looks really cool. I really like it. And then um, James, Jonah Jameson at some point will learn the secret identity of Spider-Man. Apparently when someone relearns his secret identity, they get flooded with all the memories that they ever had of him. Yeah, because um, that bullshit thing called uh, Brand New Day. Yeah. Uh, that was like the worst Spider-Man story ever fucking conceived. Yeah. Um, erased it all from thing because another stupid fucking story that spider-man did where he unmasked himself to the general public god there are some terrible comic book stories but uh yeah so now but it, it doesn't say if he's gonna get those memories back yeah or, he, or what most he, likely he, he will, will but. but now there's this weird dynamic at spider-man which is actually cool i need to read spider-man comics again um, Spider-Man is really beloved and Peter Parker is public enemy number one because, he uh, Parker industry, <laughs> he fucking nosedived. Yeah. So now he's got this weird dynamic of like Spider-Man's awesome and everyone hates Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Cause like with legacy, right. They wanted to set everything back to the status quo. Mm -hmm. So like Thor is going back to Thor. Spider-Man's going back to being poor. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Spider> poor. <laughs> so like, he's not going to be Tony Stark anymore. Yeah. Um, which, like, it was nice for his character to evolve, but I think everyone was like, he evolved too far. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so that was cool. I liked it best when he was a teacher. Just a high school Yeah, teacher. like, it worked out. I wish they would have kind of kept it that way. Mm -hmm. Like, I have this one cool cover where it's like, uh, it says Mr. Parker mm -hmm. on it. But he's in his Spider-Man costume with his mask up on the chalkboard. Yeah, I, I know what you picture. I, right I really yeah. like yeah. that cover. It's a really yeah. good one. But unfortunately, that was like when he unmasked and it's a Civil War tie-in mm -hmm. <laughs> from the original Civil War. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a good cover. And that is all the news that I have. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, have it? Have. That's I, all I, we have. I jumped in. And Where are we at? Uh, 42. 42? Do you want to cover uh thing? We can I'll just... give you a quick rundown of them. So let's we'll, we'll just talk about kind of the big thing that happened this week, which is Wally West in the Flash, as of this point, is no longer the there. Um, we don't know for how long. Yeah, it's is not really he's still to, like we he's... haven't seen any news of him leaving the show. leaving the show or anything like that. But but he's not going to sit in the chair and watch anymore. No. Like uh, cause, for the first two yeah, because like the, he leaves at the beginning of the episode and like no one notices he's gone and then he makes a point of that when he shows up in the episode. At the end. At the end. Like, no one noticed I left because yeah. he apparently went back to Earth 2 to yeah, talk he, to Jesse. Jesse. And then, then he says he needs to go find himself and do his own thing. He's going to go stay with a buddy in Blemeth or something. I have a feeling not, but... he's going to end up on Legends. Based on like what's his face leaving, that's what. I, and that's like what people are saying, I'm like that'd be cool. I'm like, like some. I'm not sure how many shows they've shot for the uh, any of them. Just any. Like I think they they. I think if I'm not mistaken, they f finished episode eight, which is their crossover. So they're into nine or ten now. And he's leaving thirteen. I Which believe. is next year. That would be next year for sure. When it, air, yeah. air date so their Christmas break wise, he might. So like, if they were gonna retool, like they might have already had Wally leaving, mm -hmm. but they might retool him leaving to uh, go to in, Legends. Yeah. Yeah. And there's just been a lot of like people suggesting that. So maybe they'll take that cue and do it. But I'm not sure like how they're going to work Firestorm into it now that um, or out of it. Out of it now that Stein's leaving. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like what? and the other guy has not said he's leaving. Mm -hmm. So, like, how are they going to do that? Unless he finds someone else that he can partner yeah, with. Yeah, they might just do that. But if they don't, they could have Wally come in. Who, they could still put Wally on the show. Who's also a mechanic yeah. and could fix the ship much like dude does now. Yeah. So, 
it'd be interesting to see what they, they do. They could still but... put Wally on the show and get rid of. I can tell you three other names you get rid of on that fucking ship. I know you really want to get rid of like Canary. You just hate <laughs> you get rid her. Of really. Canary, because uh, you hate her. Doesn't exist. Uh, you can get uh, rid of uh, Heat Wave because uh, he's a villain and not a good guy. You can get rid of. Um, I like that your your argument for Canary, White Canary, which which they do not even call her anymore. Is that like she just doesn't exist, so she shouldn't be in a show? Hundred percent. As especially opposed to show, like, especially a show based on ca- comic characters who exist. When you have a plethora, we are we're at a point where we don't know to put Wally West. I, but I'm she gonna get some top billing on fucking Legends. I'm gonna counter your argument that Felicity and Diggle did not exist when this show started. That, I'd get rid of both of them too in a heartbeat. But I was watching the shows today, and I was like, I wish. You know, okay, so I started watching Justice League the Animated. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, gear up, he's going. This is it. This is it. He's going. I started watching Justice League the Animated. I'm going to I'm gonna put Nick Rant. And, and like uh, the, the Now You Know Rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, start watching that. Yeah, great series. And great series. Yeah. Have a few few issues with it. The fact I, that, that, that sometimes cartoon logic kicks in? Uh, not even cartoon logic. I don't like their portrayal of Aquaman. It's like he's full Atlantean, no human, when you first meet him. Oh, yeah, he's very douchebaggy. Yeah, very yeah, hardcore, he, yeah. he, kill the humans. Yeah, he mellows right? out. But, um, so anyways, but anyways, I like the idea that, like, yeah, you got this team that you see in the first one. Yeah. Like, the first couple episodes, because all the whole series is built into parts, right? Yeah. So you see them, you got this team. But then you get, like, in the next episode, you only have three of them. Yeah, and then you get a, then you get five of them, but it's two different ones from the other three that you saw in the last episode. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they it interchanges. Changes yeah, it's not like you don't have full team ups every fucking episode. I was like, they should fucking bring this into these shows. So I want to watch an episode like let terrific. I was watching Arrow after. Yeah, let terrific be Mister Terrific. Mister yeah. Terrific, great character. He he, you know, like he does his thing. He knows his shit. Let him be a a, a superhero in Star City. Yeah. But does he have to be always there inside Oliver every fucking time? Yeah. Because, yeah, like, why can't he just, like, come in and come out? Yeah. And, like, yeah, like, let, um, well, on that show, I would only, well, a canary. You can keep canary because. Yeah, she's actually there. She's there. Yeah. yeah. And the other one I would get rid of completely if you had to bring Wild Dog in once or twice, fine, to do that, too. No, but, I don't want him there. Yeah, I know. At all. But, I fucking hate him. I hate him like you hate Canary. Yeah. Well, White Canary. And I'm like, because then, you know what that would give us? That would give us, like, give me, out of 24 episodes, give me six episodes. And I'm not, that's, that's minimum. That's not yeah. even a lot. Give me six episodes with just Oliver. Yeah. Give me six episodes with just Barry. Yeah. No fucking Cisco in his in his pocket, yeah. Or Caitlin up his asshole, or fucking Diggle in his in 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 his fucking costume where we're at now. None of that shit. Yeah. Give me six episodes a season where the hero is just the hero by himself. He could team up with uh, uh, Kid Flash. He could team up with Cisco. Yeah. They like Vi. they don't really they, they, they there's no, no team man, ups. There so there's just every, teams. Yeah. There's no team up. There's just teams. They're just teams. So but there's anyway, so there's, that's uh, what I was getting out of Justice League. It's yeah. Like they interchange. He's he, not dependent on. We need all seven of us to stop this guy. Yeah. They no. only do that when they need like when a, they need they, the big yeah. yeah. There's a there's a really good example of that and it's um from I just read it the Sentai for the next. Sentai stuff for Japan mm-hmm. is going to be two opposite teams of Rangers, and at the end they have to come together. Mm-hmm. But what happens is every other week they're going to rotate which team you see. Mm-hmm. So one episode, and I think it's like 24 episodes, 12 episodes, and then the next series is like them teaming up. Mm-hmm. And then like one of the guys goes in between because he's kind of like a spy for mm-hmm. each team. So one week you see this team of Rangers, the next week you see this team. And then kind of like interchanging plots of mm-hmm. what they're doing, and then they'll have a big team up, mm-hmm. which is really cool. And as much as I don't really watch Power Rangers regularly, I would love to see Saban actually try to adopt this shit. <laughs> but, like, that's the idea, right? Yeah. That you see one week, you see these guys. The next week, you see these. And there's an ingomindering plot yeah. of that. No, these shows just, like, they're still kind of throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. Yeah, six seasons later. But the thing is, like, it didn't, for Oliver, it didn't start like this. this no, it started I, with him and Diggle, and then him and him Felicity and Diggle, and which I was it, fine with. I and then him. they added all of these people. Yeah, they, they, and I don't know why they needed it for his show. Like, no. 
I like, don't know why they needed it for Flash. I just still argue that they don't. They don't. But Legends is the only Legends show theoretically that you need it to. Because it's built. The idea is built around a team of heroes like, doing this. From what I've watched from Supergirl, she's got the same fucking problem. Yeah, she has a team of, of, of telling her what to do. Like, and it's like, yeah, no, these 100%. heroes don't operate yeah, this way. They, like, you don't at need all. These, these they they're like the own heroes that team up when the essentially needs it. Yeah, and like, that's how their books work. Yeah, so I don't like. I don't get it. Yeah, that's like, what bothers me so much. Arrow has always it. kind of been like he's got Red Arrow and then he's got Black Canary and they're kind of always there ish. Yeah. But they're not always there ish. Yeah, exactly. And the Flash like, is the same thing. He interacts with people, mm -hmm. but they're not always fucking there. Yeah, like, he's not always hanging out at Star just Labs. Give me six episodes where there no no one else is in the show. It's yeah. Barry, it's Walt, it's it's Oliver and their their villain of the week or whatever. You like, know, like, like I said, like the show Flash would be so much better if Iris just went and did her job, and like Barry occasionally, and like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Consulted with yeah. Star Labs. Mm -hmm. Like you can still have Cisco there, like, like do his stuff, mm -hmm. and then have the Flash, and then like maybe he needs him to team up to stop this villain for a weapon or he actually <coughs> works as a uh, vibe that week yeah like do do that but, but no, he's not they in just... every episode no. every scene every fuck yeah, yeah. like the whole show is built around all these guys having the equal amount of screen time if not more screen time than our heroes and that's where that's where it really is fucking losing me on these yeah on these but shows. like had flash did what we wanted them to and had wally be the flash for a while but suck at it this show would have started off better, but the show started off so shit that like, I just I don't know I didn't I didn't even watch oh, this. Three week. weeks in, it's already fuller. Yeah, both and it, episodes. And are it's like, like huh. well, it may look like the funny thing is is like I actually like these shows, but like we just spend the majority of time shitting on them. But it's because they do stupid fucking things. Yeah, it, it really is. Like I love the shows. I love fucking Arrow. Yeah, that's the show I will always watch. If I skip any one of them. It will be Flash. Like, I will watch every fucking episode of Arrow. I watch Flash because I... Fuck is it hard sometimes. <laughs> I watch Flash because of the reason you hate it. But I do... I like the Flash, Cisco, and Caitlyn dynamic. Mm -hmm. But I love Barry. And, like, mm -hmm. Grant is such a good Barry. Mm -hmm. Or Wally, depending on what week it is. He kind of plays both <laughs> intermittently. But, like... I don't know. It's just all their shit. And now, like, dude has a kid, Joe. Like, I don't care. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. Pregnant. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. It ends on a like, cliffhanger. That who she, cares? That she, the, that she tells him she's pregnant as she's moving him out, out of his house. And I'm just like, why do we care? That's, yeah. It's like, it's, that has nothing to do it's, with anything. It's not called Flash and Friends. It's called The Flash. Yeah. The show starts off with that thing still three seasons in that we don't need. I am Barry Allen. I am the fastest man alive. I didn't hear that this week. No? No. But I heard Oliver's for the first time, and a whole God, was it horrible. They're, they're on every episode. For, for today's. Not maybe the way... Today's was different. Like, this week's was different for Oliver, because it, 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 it uh, ends with um, Diggle yeah. being Green Arrow. Like, whatever, his little speech ends with... That's when I had asked my best friend to take over for yeah. me or all this shit. But for so five funny. years, I pretended to be on a hellish island. Yeah. I may or may not be this guy. <laughs> I am not the arrow. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Did you see the logos? Yes, I saw the Did logos. Did you get really angry? Yes. <laughs> now they all have logos. Did you th see the thing where the guy who created Road Dog is pissed that he's in like the CW spandex suits? Because now he doesn't even look like Wild Dog. Yeah, he's, he's got a new upgraded yeah. suit that he... That's Which I didn't even notice when I watched the episode. <laughs> that's yeah. how little I care about Road Dog. Listen, Hoss. <laughs> when he got kicked off the building, I was like, woo woo <laughs> As sad as that sounds, it's oh, just like, fuck. I hate him so much. He serves no purpose. None of them do. And the like, fact they, that, like, I didn't do. even know he was an actual character in a comic shows you how much uselessness he yeah, has. Yeah, none of them serve the, like... Also, Supergirl was on this week. Don't forget. So check it out. So check it out. And yeah, that was our recap of uh, shows that suck that so, we like. Moving on to the topic. Yes. I, we, last week we said we were finally going to jump into trying to figure out the X-Men timeline. And you say, hey, you might be crazy. And I say, probably. 
But <laughs> we uh, we are people of our words sometimes, and we decided, hey, we're gonna go look for this. And then I found one article on Google. And stopped looking. <laughs> and stopped looking because it seems to explain it perfectly. And I was like, holy shit, that was awesome. I didn't go as far as like specific dates because I see your This right thing there. is but like I have some dates, dates actually. and how it lines up and what it does. And then the new timeline because of Future's Past and mm -hmm. changes the timeline of what happens and what doesn't happen because of stuff. And it's actually cool. So I'll go with the breakdown. I'll, I'll do a quick brief rundown of how their timelines run up. And then we'll look at what you yeah. have. And then we'll kind of go from there. So according to the original timeline. Starts in 1973. With, with the future's past stuff of Trask. And then. But see like already you're kind of off. Would it. I'm already like. Wouldn't first class have come before this that? is this is this stuff before Wolver like before it changes the timeline. Okay, so the deals. original This is the original like Mystique kills, kills Trask. Okay. Yeah. And then like X Men Origins Wolverine happens. Yes, in the eighties. And yeah. then um the events of Apocalypse do not occur because it's a different timeline. Yeah. And then nothing happens until, until the 90s. Until the, uh, the X Men 1 happens, X Men 2 happens, uh, The Last Stand happens, and then um, um, Logan. Logan happens. Wolverine, I mean. Wolverine happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Over the Wolverine happens. Yeah. And then Future's Past stuff starts kicking in. And then they. This timeline says it doesn't know whether or not Deadpool and Deadpool 2 happen because of the timeline. Mm -hmm. And then the future's past stuff happens. The future stuff, 2020. 20, and then all that future stuff happens, changes the timeline. So what happens in the new timeline is um, Wolverine and Prevent and Xavier stop it. Magneto yeah, goes mad. And then it leads into the new set of films. So the events of X-Men and Wolverine do not happen because he's already captured by Stryker. Yes. And then uh, Apocalypse occurs. Mm -hmm. And then the um, Dark Phoenix movie that's coming out happens. And then it's not sure what happens because there's no timeline yet of the original X-Men movies. See, but the, X -Men, but the original X-Men movies took place in the 90s. 2000s. Even though no, they were released in two thousands, but they're they're it's implied when you watch them that they're in the nineties. Well, I think the way they have this set up is that because they the movies are set in, in they come out in the two thousands that they happen in the two thousands. Okay, uh, I don't remember if it actually gives a date. In I the, think uh, they do. Yeah. Well, we're going off this list, um, and then it's like what they don't know what happens to one, two, and three, and then three doesn't happen because of this, and then. Um, the events of the Wolverine ha don't happen, and then Deadpool happens. The events of the Mew Mutant happens. The events of Deadpool two actually happen. Um, the timeline altered, so he Days of Future's Past does still happen, and then the incident happens at uh, the mansion leading into Wolverine or Logan and uh, Wol sorry Logan, and then yeah, and then Logan. So Wolverine didn't occur no. in the altered timeline. No. And that, to me, for the most part, seems... Still, neither of them started with First Class. No. Because First Class was... Never occurred? Or always happened? All, always kind of happens, just maybe differently. But Days of Futures Past changes everything. So After the 60s. So yeah. the, the 60s would always occur. Yeah, because, again, there's like three different timelines in Futures Past. Mm -hmm. So this, to me, is the most, like concurrent thing i have ever seen for mm -hmm. a timeline the only space is the original trilogy that is going to change because of dark phoenix so whatever movie comes after dark phoenix that'll be the new set thing leading into where they're all adults uh, in the future of future's past that we see where it's all perfect yeah and i'm like I, as i read that i was like okay makes sense to me now mm -hmm. everything kind of lines up but uh, what do you got? No, I had it going a different way. Like I had it. Well, not really, actually. So I had it starting with first class because I start with first class. Yeah. In the 60s. But it, but again, events but happen no, before first class. Well, you got a little bit of events that that's what like before but, first class. 
Um, yeah, first class takes place in the sixties. Yeah. It is the first one. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. First Tiger Hot still. Obviously, yeah. in this timeline, I don't think they wrote anything about that, but they're just basing first class just happens. Yeah. So is what they're basing. First it class on. happens in the because their timeline only then starts you go in seventy three. Days of Futures passed in the seventies. Yeah. <clears throat> and originally, you would have went to Origins. Yeah. And so Apocalypse. Still, so still the same timeline. Yeah. Then you would have went. Well, to, Apocalypse well, doesn't Apocalypse. happen in the not timeline, Apocalypse. right? Yeah. So basically, and would, then but no, because this one I would have. The way that, like, this is how I wrote it out. So, Days of Futures Past. Yeah. Origins. Yeah. Um, X-Men the movie. Yeah, which is like the yeah. first one. Yeah, you're still within the same timeline. United these guys. and Last Stand. Yeah, still in the same timeline. Wolverine. Yeah. I have Deadpool in there. And Logan. Just go with me on this. Because, well, yeah, we don't know if Deadpool happens or not yeah. in this timeline. So, yeah, basically it's still so the I same thing. I had Deadpool thing. in both. Yeah. Altered and unaltered. Yeah. Right? So it's still the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but the events of um, Future's Past, what it does is it changes it and adds essentially Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix into the mix and gets rid of um, 1, 2, and 3. So basically this timeline. The same, the same It's timeline. the same timeline, yeah. yeah. This one just doesn't have first class uh, yeah. written on it. Yeah. So basically, yeah, these two timelines are exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have figured out the X-Men timeline. It, it's still fucked. It's still fucked. It's still it's fucked. Still, yeah. There, it's not really confirmed whether which way, like how it works. I think what fucks is, I think what fucks it is the ending of Future's Past. Where you see all of the characters playing the characters from X one, yeah, at the age they are now, yeah. But, their, but Dar- and supposed- then the casting of Dark Phoenix and Apocalypse do not line up to the, that timeline. No, but is that so? When he wakes up in the future at the end of Future's Past, it is the new twenty twenty three. I think it's, it's the it's new twenty twenty three. Okay, yeah, twenty twenty three. Since the timeline is altered, we see a glimpse of the all-new 2023 at the end of Future's Past, and everything seems normal. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't make any fucking sense, because if Dark Phoenix happens in the, at, 80s. in the 80s, or the 90s, or wherever they're fucking playing, I think it takes place in the 90s, though they're not aged up enough to be the new thing. And because of the way the characters are portrayed in the new set of films does not line up with how they act in the other the, set the of films. Three. So it wipes out those three for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Because Cyclops makes no fucking sense in any of these movies now. I mean, it wipes out Logan or mm-hmm. Wolverine Origins because it wipes out that Deadpool as well. But like, it just, it's so murky. Yeah, he was captured differently. Yeah. So he wouldn't have been, yeah. And like, because of Future's Past ending... And the two movies that were shot after it, these characters' ages don't match the ending of and the movies. And then Logan takes some liberties with what they've Well, because it, this is... What it says is it's 2023, right? Yeah, and then in 2029... Post-2023, the incident happens. Yeah. So all that stuff could still happen because it's set so far past all of this stuff that Xavier still loses his shit after... Yeah. The events. Oh, yeah. But what so, I was like, going to, so it could sometime be the next between day. 20, 20, sometime between 2023 and 2029, he it, flips his lid and kills, kills everyone. everyone. So it could be like the but next just day. Just go with me. <laughs> but just go with me. So now, leading into what you just brought up earlier about X23. Yeah. It would take place it after It would take Logan. place after Logan with her and a bunch of kids that I couldn't give a fuck about. Yeah. And not want to watch this movie. Yep. Because it's not like she'd be fighting with the X-Men that we knew yeah. or know. They they have screwed that timeline really bad with Logan. While Logan was a great film, it kind of just it doesn't it work. It derailed the train. It does. And because now they technically have this window to work in between 2023 and 2029, mm-hmm. they kind of have to be wishy-washy about it. But because... But we're only into the 2000s, I think. Yeah. Because I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Dark Phoenix occurs in the 90s. It says 1991. Yeah, yeah I think that. So, like, we got we got time. Yeah. We have 35 fucking years before yeah. um, 
But again, because they're wiping out everything, it does wipe out the events of one, two, and three, which completely I'm okay with wiping out three because that movie sucks. Mm -hmm. Um, but then again, so does Apocalypse, and I do not have high hopes for Dark Phoenix. Yeah, um, I think I think the X Men train is, is fizzled. Yeah, and like they're trying to fix it with the New Mutants and X Factor and blah blah blah. Not but X-Force, again, so not X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's so many X groups. I got confused. <laughs> yeah, but again, like it just this timeline still doesn't make sense because like none of the ages of the characters they cast and what they do in previous movies lines up. Well, like, but the, but what you got to look at now is like, so look at it this way: pretend one and three don't don't exist anymore so when he wakes up 2023 he sees 30 year old scott right how old are they in uh thing in where um apocalypse they're like teenagers they're They're like like 16 17 so and that takes place in In the 80s so they're like which is late 20s in the 90s early 20s early 20s and then by the time they hit another 20 20 years, 23 like does it olds. still add up it could but you really have to pretend that the other ones do not occur which yeah. is what they're hoping but they're better and i don't want them to mm-hmm. <laughs> like it just i blame this fucker right here for the problem with x-men Everything that happened Everything every- happens because of Scott. <laughs> no, the guy who played him. Why? Because him and Singer left. <laughs> and and they fucked over so Superman. X X1 and yeah, that's a whole other story. So they fucked over two franchises. Yeah. So go with me on this. Because it's his fault. They screwed up two timelines. So what happens is X1 and X2 great movies. X3 pile of garbage. And Singer left to go do Superman Returns, which in turn, I didn't watch for 15 years and is still a pile of garbage. And he was in the movie for maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. And they killed him in the other one with this terrible storyline. And they killed him basically because he left. Yeah. And Singer left and they left back um, Brett Ratner in charge, Mm -hmm. which was a really bad idea because that movie just fucking derailed it. And everyone hated it so bad that instead of doing X4, they did first class. Yes. And that set in motion everything that changed. And then, and then they were like, oh, wait, everyone likes these characters now again? Okay, we'll try to fix it with Days of Futures Past. And it screwed it up so bad. And it's all because this guy wanted to be in <laughs> Superman Returns <laughs> with Singer. Am I wrong? I don't think, no, I, don't, I, I won't go that far. I'll say Singer leaving, yes. Singer leaving I, and yes. him leaving. But I don't think, like, let's say he was in X3 completely. But, like he was in last yeah. day. Like he was he was there, he's at the last fight, fucking laser beaming. Beam. I still think the movie would have been horrible and this track still would have went the same right. But her dark turn is all because she may have killed Scott. Scott doesn't die, she doesn't turn. Uh they would have just implemented <laughs> something else. Like they were doing the dark the dark Phoenix story one way or another. But it would have been better, I think. Uh, I don't think it was going to be better than what we got. (laughs) We can blame the entire fuck up of Superman and thing on Brian Singer. Yes. So we've established that the new timeline doesn't work because Brian Singer wanted to go make Superman, but he just did Superman, but like badly. Mm -hmm. He remade Superman 1, basically. Kind of. Yeah. And it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And poor Brandon Ralph. Who did like a super drop ass Superman? Yeah. <laughs> what are we at? Oh, one oh eight. So I think this storyline and yours basically match up. Yes. So I think yeah, this basically solves their problem because if you acknowledge but you the just fact, cannot ignore. You have to ignore. If you the acknowledge other three. the fact that the original three X Men do not exist. And just keep watching. And just keep watching them. And the end of this kind of works. That, yeah. Yeah. That kind of works. It's just them cast older as if you saw them for the first time looking like that. Yeah. Somehow, um, Sansa from Game of Thrones is going to turn into her. Yeah. As she ages, she'll look like her. Yeah. In like 20 years. Yeah. 
and then um do magneto and xavier are both gonna look like <laughs> these guys <laughs> yeah so to reiterate fox has no idea what they're doing but i am not watching the new mutants so that's all i know oh me neither I'm me neither i'll check out dark phoenix oh yeah i want to see how bad it is compared but to, I'm, uh, i have no interest in new mutants I, I don't care. I'll watch it when it comes to Netflix. I don't even know if I'd give it that. <laughs> I'm like, ugh, two hours on Netflix? No, but I'll find something I, else on Netflix. <laughs> what I want, ultimately, is nothing set after Logan. I don't think we'll... Like, yeah, that's I, I, like 2029. 20, like, I, 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 think I, I think before they reach that point, we get a fucking fresh restart. <laughs> like, we hit the fucking yeah. delete button. The thing is, Fox will keep making these because they will never give that license back to Marvel. Oh, 100%. But... They will drive this franchise farther into the ground than they already have to not give back the rights to the X-Men. Oh, yeah, and I don't blame them. But before they ever make that post-2030 movie, yeah. we'll hit that fucking reset button firmly oh, yeah. and be like, this is just X-Men number one. Yeah. Like, like the new now. <laughs> like... Marvel's really close to pretty much having everyone back under Marvel. Mm -hmm. Just they will never get the X-Men. No. And, well, I, I like that, and I also don't like that. Yeah, we've I talked would, about it before, would, because, yeah. like... I would it, love it, to see would, the X-Men. You would never get all these movies. Yeah, that's one thing. Regardless and of it being It would put crap. an end to this inhuman shit. Well, the, that, because no, they would never have to rebuild the Inhumans because now they have the X-Men. put an end to the Inhumans. <laughs> but the only reason they tried to push the Inhumans with crazy-ass power is because they don't have the X-Men. Yeah. And they've shoved it everywhere. Mm. The TV show, the Lego game, and the fucking... Um, the... There was something else. Mm -hmm. The comics. Would never have any of this shit because they, they, had, have, they had this crap back. Yeah. And, like, because Fox doesn't want to play nice. Mm -hmm. Every other studio is kind of like, okay, we'll play nice. Sony kind of had to. Mm -hmm. But I think it worked out beneficiary for everyone. Yeah. That, like, yeah, they'll never play nice. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, please play nice. These things are, like, losing money now. Well, Logan and Deadpool not. But yeah. X-Men is, like, just fucking floundering at this point. Oh, we, and we also, we don't know where it's going to happen. But just for shits and giggles. Gambit falls in this timeline somewhere too. That fucking movie, I can guarantee you, is never getting fucking made. This movie's been announced That's your for like new Venom. No, Shazam's my new Venom. <laughs> Shazam's my new Venom, and Gambit, Gambit will is be my like new Shazam. Fucking, and Gambit's like just is one hundred percent never getting made. No, it's like they banked on Channing tatum being in it and then like they just kind of like stopped and wasn't there that one thing at comic-con where it was on stage with everyone too yeah. like yeah <laughs> like, it's not happening nothing <laughs> jennifer lawrence that was her name yeah so just complete tangent before we end this I, uh, my parents picked me up after work and we just went to shoppers or whatever and my mom was buying hair dye and um your mom dyes her hair <laughs> Every woman on the planet dyes their hair. Every woman on the planet dyes their hair. I know. <laughs> Are you implying that it's gray or just but like... now your dad's going to hear that. <laughs> Hi, so Dad. Is. I'm talking about mom on the podcast. So there was a, one of the pictures on the front looked like her. And I couldn't think of her fucking name to save my life. And I was like, the Hunger Girl Games. And she was like, who? I was like... Silver Linings Playbook? And I was like, <laughs> what? No idea. And I was like, I can't fucking remember her name. And as I'm staring at this picture of Mystique, I'm like, Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. That's who she looks like. <laughs> but I'm kind of tired of her being Mystique. Can we stop? Yeah. That's 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 where I think... Um, that's a hurt in the franchise? Yeah. Is the fact that, like, you get a, Mystique the, is the main fucking focus, and she's and now the you, leader you of the X-Men. You get fucking apocalypse, and that's where, like, like, I got, I was okay with Days of Future's past, because originally, she murdered her. Yeah. Like, as a villain, you Yeah, know? And then they have to change shit, because murdering him fucks up things 45 years later, right? Yeah. I, mean, I get, whatever. But then, like, she fucking alters timelines, like, jumps over fucking moons and rivers, because in Apocalypse, she's running the fucking X-Men. Yeah. Well, and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. We have uh, made some 
fucking errors. Yeah. Like, I get it. She's a huge movie star, but fuck. Yeah. So is McAvoy, and he's supposed to be the leader of the X-Men. Yeah. But he's not. Weird. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. So we learned some things on the podcast mm-hmm. today. Mostly that we seem to just hate everything. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no, I like stuff. No. I just hate when they make stupid decisions. Like, remember when he was purple? Yeah, he looked like Ivan News. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he still looks like shit. Yeah. He's not, the only character right. they got right when that was Olivia Munn as um, Psylocke. Psylocke. That's mm-hmm. the only character they got right. I do like the ending when they're in their more traditional suits, like yeah. the blues and yellows. Yeah, and then they'll that fuck cool. that up in the next movie. So I'm sure they will. Like, yeah. yeah, the next one they're going to be like black leather spandex. And we still haven't figured out what they're doing with Wolverine. Yeah, what they're what like because you're going to have to cut. You need Wolverine. You at need some a Wolverine. Point. Or the only thing holding this franchise together is Wolverine. And you couldn't. You couldn't even with Logan. Even if you never left, you still could never have continue to make these movies without having two wolverines yeah because you have two characters of all the other ones right you have and they've already said that there's two wolverines it's just that hugh played him yeah exactly because you would have need two of them because he's 60 to these 19 year olds like it just doesn't look right (laughs) it really sucks that we will not get wolverine and deadpool and that's just fucking tragic yeah because i would love to see ryan reynolds and hugh jackman Origins. I would love to see Hugh Jackman and and Ryan Reynolds in a movie. Both of those guys as Origins. Deadpool and uh, Wolverine. I think that'd be really cool. Because we haven't seen that yet. Excellent. We Origins. haven't seen that yet. Yeah. No, in Origins we have Ryan Reynolds. We haven't seen that. And yet. Hugh Jackman, both yeah. in movie. Now Hugh. Jackman, I said as no, no, Deadpool no, 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 and Wolverine. No, 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 no. Hugh Jackman is. Come on, we'll see you next week. Hugh Jackman is playing Wolverine. Ryan is playing Wade Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> I got you like to two and a half out of three points. Like <laughs> He's not even Wolverine in that. He's Logan. I, I'd argue that too. But no, nah, he's, he's Wolverine. He has, he, he has the Andamantium. He's Wolverine. Man, that movie started off really well. And then just was like someone turned the page of the script and ripped it out. And they were like... Shit, what do we do? <laughs> Make up a new one. <laughs> um, so Deadpool's mouth shut and Wolverine will um, blow up or something. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Cut. I'm not as bad, and not Gambit, as, bad as people. And Gambit bullet. will suddenly just show up out of nowhere, even though it makes no sense in the cut of the movie. Yeah, that he just appears there, falling out of the fucking sky. Yeah, where'd he come from? I don't know. He parachuted in. <laughs> and then, like, free fall. It's such a bad guy. Somewhere there's a scene that makes sense in that, but oh man, there are so many problems with that first mm-hmm. Wolverine. That movie was so bad it canceled Magneto Origins. Yeah, yep. Which part of it led into First Class? There was a lot of things that led into First Class. First Class was so good. It was. It was the best. It was the best one out of the three so far. Yeah, I, I liked that one the best. I I really liked Future's Past. I thought it was a good premise. And I do like it, but I, I liked origin. I liked first class as the of the three because yeah. it was different than what we had again, gotten so far. Again, whereas first they follow whereas, the same trilogy. Whereas futures one is good, past, two is okay, and three is fucking. Whereas garbage. futures past was like the the mix of both. We're like we got to try to mix these and fix it and correct this and yeah. steer this ship and and, and it's like ugh, my you could have just went fresh with first class. Like that could have been your delete all button, and and started fresh. Yeah. But again, what would they do after that? Like, you need to have the X Men. Oh, they could have just kept making X Men movies, but not Days of Future's Past. Like, just make the next one with the with the team growing up and doing like starting yeah. fresh. Yeah, first class would have went into second class. And yeah, then, that uh, type of you know yeah. just kept making and then new ones. The after school special. Yeah, and then graduation. Mm-hmm. And then um, prom night. Yeah, and then you'd have the new class. The new class. Yeah, yeah. and then. Uh, you know, then they'd go to Vegas and get married. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> I, I, know, like, I, I know where you're going. <laughs> They're going to Hawaii too. Yeah. And then uh, someone writes a tell-all sex book. <laughs> a tell-all, a tell-all book. Yep. Anyways, thank you for joining us on the Talking Bull Podcast this week. I'm Anthony. This is Nick. We will see you next week. Goodbye. See you.